What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be reacting to AI-generated Pixar posters. I'm sure it will be very interesting to see how AI image generation technology is coming along. This AI stuff is getting pretty good. Apparently it can do voices too. No, it cannot do voices. Computers cannot talk. That's just something the lamestream media made up. Okay, let's just get started here, guys. This is the first poster. I'm very surprised that Pixar would make something like this. It's not real, Joe. What do you mean? It's right there. It's AI generate. An AI made this? Joe, that's literally the whole point of this video. We talked about this earlier. Sorry, but this one is not funny. I did not laugh. Do you guys hear me laughing right now? No! That is because it's not funny and I'm not laughing. We get it. Obviously, a Mexican would never be able to jump over my big beautiful wall. Totally impossible. Whoever made this was probably a liberal. They could have been Mexican as well. I don't know. Uh, but probably they were. But you never even finished the wall. Obama, you're making this political? I'm just trying to have a good time here. This would probably be better than the last couple movies Pixar has made. Let's just go to the next poster. This is too offensive. I really didn't expect you to get offended here, Donald. I mean, there are more offensive ones than this coming up. Making fun of walls is where I draw the line. What's up with the guy's eyes? The AI makes weird mistakes like that sometimes. Joe, that is basically what your eyes look like. Okay, let's just move on to the next one. See, now this would actually be a good movie. I think the biggest challenge here would be making it kid-friendly. Pixar movies are for the kids after all. I don't think this one would be for the kids. No, this one would be for the boys. Why just the boys? Look at those two studs in the back. You're telling me they're there for the boys? Yes, Joe. Women don't watch stuff like this. I think you'd be surprised what women watch. I think you'd be surprised. Women only read porn. Ever heard of Fifty Shades of Grey? Now that's a good book. Women read those books with jacked cowboys on the cover. They don't watch beautiful goddesses like Mia. This would be a movie everyone could get behind. You know, animation doesn't have to be for kids. Just look at anime. Anime is for kids, Joe. That's not funny. You've crossed a line there, man. You need to take that back. Take back what you said about the wall, then. Joe is actually building more of the wall. Does that count as an apology? Hey, I'm trying to keep that on the down low. Oh, sorry. Whatever. I think we can all agree that Pixar should actually make this. Correct. Pixar, if you're watching this, please make this movie real. Just be careful. There are things you're allowed to do in the privacy of your own home that you're not allowed to do in a movie theater. I found that out the hard way. If you think they can't see you all the way up there in the back row, you are very mistaken. Okay, clearly it's time for the next poster. Oh boy. The faces in the back are horrifying. That's your big takeaway from this? That's the horrifying part to you? I enjoy the fact that the main character appears to be dual wielding a pistol and a rifle. Is he the one who shot up the school? Or is he like the hero who is trying to stop the school shooting? And why is there an explosion in the background? Also, why is the girl holding what appears to be a doll of herself? The guy on the right has a gun too. He would probably be the goofy friend side character. So kind of like you when you were vice president? Why does it say from the creators of Finding Nemo at the top? That was like 10 Pixar movies ago. The AI probably hasn't seen the newer Pixar movies because they suck. I'm sure the people who worked in Finding Nemo would love to be associated with this. I think the real challenge here would be making this movie 90 minutes long somehow. He shoots up the school. The cops come. I mean, what else really is there? Look at that explosion. Clearly, there's a lot going on here. Well, the movie could start way before the shooting. It could show how he gets no bitches, spends all his time on Discord, and then gets prescribed powerful antipsychotics. That doesn't really sound like a fun movie. It's a movie about a school shooting. It's not going to be fun. But Pixar movies are supposed to be fun. Ever seen the first 10 minutes of Up? It's not fun. That's sad as hell. Let's just move to the next poster, please. If one of us was going to shoot up a school, it would definitely be Trump. I mean, that goes without saying. What the hell does that mean? Okay, next poster. I don't get it. Here, I'll explain. The AI spelled the name wrong. Clearly, this is supposed to be titled Franz Ferdinand. I still don't get it. Franz Ferdinand, as in Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. What the hell are you talking about? Let me give you a history lesson, kid. I'd rather you didn't. Franz Ferdinand was the king of Germany at the time. No, he wasn't. 
And when you're the king and you're on your grind, you make a lot of enemies. You make a lot of haters. So the ops pulled up on him and discovered that he was utterly lacking in these streets. After that, a fat white guy named Kaiser Wilhelm took over and started playing Age of Empires, but in real life. Shit was crazy. Luckily for all of the very gay Europeans, America eventually stepped in and fixed everything like usual. That actually makes this sound like it would be a pretty good movie. Guys, that's not what happened at all. You weren't there. You don't know. I like how the steering wheel isn't actually attached to anything. He's just holding it in the air. Well, that's how cars used to work back in the day. What day was that back in, exact? Oh, about 10, 20 years ago. Cars did not look like that in 2003. Mine did. Next poster, please. Oh, no. I don't get this one. You don't know about Chris John? Do you live under a rock or something? Sorry, I, I don't have time to keep up with all of this internet nonsense. Unlike you two, I actually have a job. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called being the president of the fucking United States of America, bitch. Joe, you're not even busy. I see you on Discord playing Valorant like all day. So, you guys played like a thousand rounds of golf when you were in office. Joe, let me fill you in here. Chris Chan is a lol cow. He's a what now? A lol cow. It's someone who everyone on the internet stalks and makes fun of, kind of like you. No, everyone thinks I'm really cool. Uh, have you seen your poll numbers lately, Joe? I'm too based for poll numbers. Anyway, Chris Chan eventually went completely insane and banged his mom because he thought that Sonic the Hedgehog was going to appear in real life or something. What the hell are you talking about? I don't see what you're not getting here. I'm an 80-year-old man. You expect me to understand this stuff? You know, this doesn't really look like Chris Chan at all. And why is the mom so tiny? Also, why does the door just open into outer space? You know what? Let's just go to the next poster now. Okay, this is fucked up. Of all the uh, posters we've seen, this is where you draw the line? You guys wouldn't understand. This was basically the black 9-11. No wonder he crashed. You're actually not supposed to hang onto the helicopter like that. You're supposed to ride inside on the seats. That's just some helicopter lore. For those of you who might not know. Everyone knows that, dumbass. I didn't. That's not how he actually crashed. That's just the poster. That could have been how it happened. No. You don't really know, Obama. You weren't there. Donald, your fat ass would probably crash a helicopter just due to the sheer weight. I'm surprised you could even make it onto Marine One. These things have weight limits, and I'm pretty sure they're under a thousand pounds. I'm not fat, and I could have beaten Kobe one-on-one. -on -one. Well, now you're just being ridiculous. I would have broken his ankles. You do realize that Kobe played basketball, right? Not golf? You have to actually move in basketball instead of just riding around in a little cart. All of my golf skills would transfer over to basketball if I started playing. Trump, you couldn't even beat me one-on-one. -on -one. Joe, please. Have you ever heard of a young man by the name of Steph Curry? Yeah, and? I taught him everything he knows. I was his high school coach. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on in the upper right of this poster? What is that? Why is it floating? You know what? Some of this AI stuff is just creepy. Rest in peace, Kobe. I'm sorry for not keeping your name out of Trump's mouth. Next poster. This one might be even better than the Mia one. Wait, what? Even funnier, I mean. It's a very funny meme. One of the funniest. Hold up. Didn't you used to be friends with Epstein, Trump? No, but the Billy Boy here was. That's why he's the one on the poster. Let's just focus on the poster here. But aren't there actually pictures of you with Epstein? We might have met a couple times. Yeah, I think you and Hillary were both in with Epstein. I'm trying to talk about funny Pixar memes for the video and you guys are making it political. Once again, I'm being unfairly attacked. I'm just pointing out that you knew him. So what? Lots of people knew him. I'm not a pedophile. I don't like teenagers. When I see 18-year-old high school senior girls in tight volleyball shorts, do you know what I say? I say that's a shame. They should have to wear more clothes. But when I see a 38-year-old woman, do you know what I say? I say that's hot. That gets me going. Maturity is hot. Experience is hot. Is that why your wife is 24 years younger than you are? You know, I think this could be a good Pixar movie. I mean, this is kind of a fun poster. Is Bill Clinton still alive? He could voice himself. Yes, Bill Clinton. 
is very much still alive. Despite the fact that he took office all the way back in 1993, he is the same age as you, Trump. Uh, what does that tell you about the current state of American politics? I don't know. Nothing, probably. I wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, next poster. This one sucks. I can't tell if this one is the most offensive or the least offensive. As an honorary African-American, let me weigh in. I think this is the poster that could most realistically be made into a real movie. Why did the AI make him look like a Fortnite default skin? I mean, what's so bad about this movie? They're out there and in the fields. That's the way it used to be. They're slaves, Joe. Yeah, so kids should learn about slavery. This could be like Roots, but for kids. In fact, I think kids should have to pick cotton in school so that they know what the slaves had to put up with. I'm not sure that's really a great idea. I am, I'm sure. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if Pixar made a slave movie. Hollywood loves slave movies. It's all part of the buck-breaking agenda. Buck-breaking? You don't know about buck-breaking? What are you talking about? I'm a little disappointed that you don't know about your own black history, Obama. Allow me to enlighten you. During the slave times, the white masters would bang the black slaves, the male black slaves. But it wasn't a gay thing. It was a power thing. That sounds gay as hell. No, it wasn't about that. It was about emasculating them. That still sounds pretty gay. The white man is still doing this. He is? Yes, he's just doing it less directly. Instead of banging black guys, he makes movies where they look weak and gay. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about the truth, Obama. I would know, right? I'm basically the CEO of white people. I mean, I guess that is kind of true. What? No. I'm the CEO of white people. I'm the CEO of the whole damn country. All right, let's just show the next poster. What? I don't get this one either. There's a horse in a jar. What's the joke here exactly? You don't know? Don't know what? I'm glad you don't know. I wish I didn't know. Joe, check your phone. I'm going to send you the original picture. The what now? Just check your Discord. Okay. Okay, what the fuck? Now you know. Why would you send me some shit like this? You're the president. You need to know. I feel like I didn't need to know. This is what goes on in Biden's America. You're blaming me for this? I mean, you're not exactly doing anything to stop it. How the hell am I supposed to stop this? I mean, if you really wanted to, you could start drone striking brony conventions. That's just your solution for everything, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It works, too. Um, when's the last time you heard of Al-Qaeda doing anything? That's not a bad idea, actually. I'll look into that as a possible solution. I don't think I really want this kind of thing happening on my watch. Oh, it's happening. It's happening a lot more than you think. Every day this is happening. I don't like that. The background of this poster is almost as scary as the actual content. What's going on back there? They don't even look like ponies. It's just an amorphous blob of color. The AI kind of sucks at making ponies. Believe me, I have tried to get it to make good ponies. Why? Don't worry about it. I'm a little worried now. We're going to move on to the next poster now. Much better. This isn't better at all. There's already a movie about the KKK, and it's called Birth of a Nation. Now, I saw that movie when it came out in theaters. Of course, I didn't know it was about the KKK at the time. I just thought it had a badass poster. It has the fucking KKK on the poster. After the movie was over, I went up to the colored fellow who worked behind the popcorn counter. His name was Robert, if I recall correctly. As I apologized for the movie, and gave him the rest of my popcorn as a gift, there wasn't a lot left since I was really hungry at the time. But it was something. That's what we today call reparations. And I think our country was healed a little bit that day. And that's what I'm trying to do as president. Why is this poster so much better than the other ones? Is the AI racist? Yeah, that is kind of sus. And why doesn't he have the normal uniform? He just has a big cone. He just has the hat part. Clearly that's because the feet in the poster belong to a little kid. He's just joined the KKK. And the uniform is too big for him. The movie will follow his journey through the KKK. Can we just move on to the next poster, please? The next one is the last poster for this video, so it better be a good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Maybe the best one? You guys think this is the best one. What is wrong with you two? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you, man? What's...
the problem with a little love. Okay, obviously I don't have a problem with little love. It kind of sounds like you do. It kind of does, yeah. This is the sort of movie Pixar should be making instead of another movie where a Mexican kid learns about the importance of family. Kids could learn a lot from this. Girls especially learn a lot from this. This is the kind of movie that could really bring this country together. The whites and the blacks. The blacks? All of the races coming together. Just not in the back of the theater. I said this before, but you really will get in trouble for that. I don't know how fair that is really, but that's the way it is these days. This is the kind of movie you do have to see in theaters. Yes, obviously. I can't believe we're doing two more of these videos. What is that? Is that Spanish? It's called Mexican, Joe, not Spanish, and yes, it is. I don't get it. Joe, come on. Don't you have internet at the White House? Ignorant about what now? You don't know about Carlinos? Who the hell is that? So you're saying you don't know? Of course I don't know. I'm surprised. Why the hell do you two jackasses know about this? What are you getting up to on the internet? It's just a meme, Joe. How is it a meme? What's the joke here exactly? The joke is sex with horses. That's not a joke. If it's not a joke, why is it so funny? Pixar's too scared to make this a real movie. Society isn't ready. I'm glad society isn't ready. I'm not ready either. Well, you better get ready, old man. What the hell does that mean? You know, the horses in the post remind me of the horses in the movie Spirit. Actually, the movie is not called Spirit. The title is Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Why do you know that? And these horses are nothing like the horses in that movie. You do realize that Spirit was a 2D animated film, right? Why do you guys know so much about horses? You know what? Let's just pull up the next poster. Now this is just fun for the whole family. They should really make this movie. What's going on with his arm? This AI needs to get its act together. Donald, I don't think this one would do very well at the box office. I think you'd be surprised. This is just like the other posters. It's extremely offensive and could never actually be a real film. How is this one offensive? Uh, are we looking at the same poster here? Is that supposed to be his house in the back? This is not offensive. This is just realistic. African Americans have to look around for water every day. Many such cases of this happening. Okay, first of all, he's clearly supposed to be African, not African American. No, I'm pretty sure this is African American. What part of America looks like that? I don't know, Detroit, I guess. Donald, have you ever actually been to Detroit? No, why would I want to go there? They gave this little kid very strange ears. He looks like a little mouse. He looks a lot like Obama. And you look a lot like an obese 77 year old. Let's just get the next poster up here, please. Muslimine, what is that? It's supposed to be Muslim, Joe. Why can't this damn AI spell? Spell Muslim right now, Joe. What is this, a spelling bee? If it's so easy, then you should be able to spell it. Okay, fine, I will. Go ahead. M-U-O-S-L-E-E-M-O-R-M. -E -E wow, I did not expect it to be that bad. Come on, Joe. What? I spelled it right. Whatever happened to ISIS anyway? They haven't really been posting videos very much anymore. Oh, that's right, I bombed them out of existence. Yeah, that's what I said about Al-Qaeda. Then ISIS showed up. Don't worry, those boys will be back some way or another. No, I'm pretty sure I solved all of the problems in the Middle East for good this time. I'm a deal maker, Obama. It's just what I do. Yeah, I think I did that too, by leaving Afghanistan. Yeah, I'm sure you two idiots solved the problem. Yes, yes we did. Why are you hating Barry? I'm not hating, I'm just being real. They could never make this movie. And that's not because it's offensive, it's because nobody would even get what it's about. Muslims, what are those? Didn't Trump stop all of those people? That's what they would ask. Wait, Obama, aren't you Muslim? Oh my God, this again? Yes, he is Muslim, everyone knows this. And I guess I'm a communist from Kenya as well, right? Yes, also true. I forgot about that, but I'm glad you remembered. You're welcome. Are Palestinians Muslims? Are they the good guys or the bad guys? Joe, don't you read the intelligence reports that the CIA sends you? No, those are really boring. I think you should probably start reading them. I never read them and I did fine. Yeah, exactly. I'm busy making these reaction videos. I don't really have time to deal with Palestine versus Israel. Kind of sounds like something that's not my problem. Joe, you're the president. It is your problem. Shut up, Kenya boy. Next poster. Why does it look like matter from cars? The AI went too far with this one. The Titanic is no laughing matter. 
Take this off the screen. It's not supposed to be the Titanic. That was a ship, not a submarine. It's supposed to be the Titan. I don't know what the hell the Titan is, but let me tell you a little something about the Titanic. A million good men and boys died on that ship. They told us it was unsinkable, and it was. Nothing could sink it, except for itself. That's right, the Titanic was an inside job. They explain all of this in the movie. What the hell are you talking about, old man? They put that iceberg there, man. It was a setup. Joe, this is a submarine. It's a joke about the Titan, that sub that exploded. Those guys all lived, right? No, they died instantly. Oh, why didn't they just swim up? That's what I would have done. Because they were crushed by the immense pressure of the ocean. I'm pretty sure I would have survived. That seems like the sort of situation I would get out of. Your fat ass would have never fit in there. The Titan was all over the news. I remember this now. Whatever happened with that? What do you mean, nothing happened? They're dead? I know, but now what? I mean, it was all over the news. It was a big deal. Well, it's over now. Oh, I get it now. It's Mater from Cars. <laughs> okay, next poster. Who picked these posters for the video? Our asses are gonna get kicked off of YouTube for this. I don't see the problem with this one. This looks very realistic to me. Why are some of the TVs they're stealing on? How does that work? That's your problem with this, Joe? The TVs are on? I'm just saying it's a little strange. This is just a poster for a movie about Joe Biden's America. You're looking at Bidenomics at work. Hold on, Fetz. The George Floyd riots happened in 2020 when your orange ass was president. That's not how I remember it. And they say I'm the one with dementia. Yes, you are. And I may have been president at the time, maybe. I don't recall the exact details, but it was still your fault. How is this my fault? This isn't what happened at all. Apart from the rioting and looting, they were very peaceful protests about civil rights and inequality in this country. That's like saying that without the shooting, World War II was basically the Olympics. Wait, what? Also, everyone knows that if there's a riot, you shouldn't steal TVs. They're big, hard to carry, and you can probably only fit one in your cat. Phones and laptops are what you want to steal. Dip into Best Buy during the next protest, and you can easily walk out with 10 grand. That's just a little advice for our viewers. White or black? I'm giving that advice to everyone. Oh, good. At least you're being equitable. That's Biden's America, baby. Okay, next poster. Ethnicily abnably? Wow, the AI really does need to learn how to spell. It's probably just in Russian. Oh, yeah? What does it mean in Russian? I don't know. Ask Joe. He's the one with all the weird Ukraine connections. Hey, I haven't forgotten about you in Russiagate, Trump. Everyone else has. You know, this actually reminds me. Chernobyl is in Ukraine, right? Whatever happened with that? Are you asking what happened with Ukraine? Yeah, weren't they in a war or something? I think they were fighting Israel. No, they were invaded by Russia. You really don't read those intelligence briefings, do you? Like I said, I'm a busy man. Nobody cares about Ukraine anymore. That's old news. Only boomers talk about that stuff. It's all about Palestine now. Get with the times, losers. The war in Ukraine is very much still going on. Yeah, but nobody cares. We shouldn't even be talking about it. We'll lose viewers. Well, hold on. I like this poster. They made that show called Chernobyl, so I don't see why they couldn't make a movie too. The show was live action and aimed at a mature adult audience. Yeah, so that can be the adult version. And then this can be the kids version. I'm not sure we really need a kids version of Chernobyl. But kids need to learn about the dangers of nuclear power. Actually, nuclear power is by far the safest form of energy. Wrong, totally wrong. Everyone knows that beautiful, clean, sexy coal and oil are the best forms of energy. I love burning coal and oil. That's what American means to me. The term clean coal is an oxymoron. No, you are an oxymoron. Boom, got him. Okay, next poster. Hopefully this happens to Biden soon. I get to cruise down the street and wave to people. I could do that. No, not that part. Oh, uh, what's up with his eye? He was shot, Obama. Don't you know your history? I thought you were a nerd. It's not that, it's just the AI. It messed up his face. It messed up everyone's face. And why does it look like there's two people driving? That was just he how cars worked back then, kid. You had your driver, of course. But then you also had your co-driver. In the earliest cars, the co-driver would be a horse. Since they were still transitioning away from the horse-drawn carriage. So the horse would work the pedals, and the human would work the steering wheel. 
this was because horses didn't have thumbs back then. That was called the modal T Ford. Joe, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm giving our viewers a little history lesson. When was the last time we had a good assassination? It seems like people don't do that anymore. That's a shame. Biden would be a good target for that. People don't assassinate politicians anymore. They just shoot up schools and grocery stores. You should know, Donald. They're always right-wing chuds like you. Okay, first of all, a random person did not kill JFK. The CIA killed JFK. They did? Joe, you're the president. How do you not know this? I thought we weren't supposed to talk about this. I knew about that. I thought we were just playing it cool. Wait, are we not supposed to say that? I've been out of office for a while. I don't remember all the rules. Well, it's okay. We can just edit this out later. Okay, next poster. Finally, an actual good movie. Hey, where am I? I should be the main character of this movie. No, obviously I would be the protagonist. I am the protagonist of America. You lost the election. Why would they make a movie about a loser? Hey, I'm not on the poster either. Why would you be on the poster? You're washed up. You haven't been president for like 20 years. Obama, please. This is really between Trump and I. Wait, who the hell are the other people on this poster? Is that supposed to be Pence on the right? And who is that babe next to him? Forget about the mystery people. What the fuck is that green thing? He is called Shrek. That abomination looks nothing like Shrek. Shrek is DreamWorks, not Pixar. Please try to keep up, Joe. The 2020 election should be a DreamWorks movie, not a Pixar movie. What does that even mean? The viewers know exactly what I mean. I like the purple dog character. Maybe that can be me in the movie. Good idea, that can be you. My character would be voiced by Chris Pratt. No actor would agree to voice you. They'd get canceled in two seconds. It would be the role of a lifetime. Portraying your fat roles would not be a good move for an actor. Should we talk about how the lady on the left is basically just the mom from The Incredibles? Yes, I always enjoy talking to, about the mom from The Incredibles. Okay, actually, let's just get to the next post. This one is obviously for you, Obama. This is not for anyone. What the fuck is this? It has three O's because it's extra hood. Damn, this picture goes hard. This doesn't go hard. It doesn't go anything. It's just weird. Maybe the streets seem weird to you, Obama, but not me. Nope. This is where I'm from. This is my culture. This is your culture? Then explain what the hell that thing on the right is. That's the hood baby. Every crew has a hood baby. You know how it is. What is that gremlin on the left? And what's going on with the main character's ankles? You hunkies just don't know what it's like out there. This is how it is. Why is there a white guy in the top right? What is? How it is? What is this? Every crew has the one white boy. That was me back in the day. They called me Whitey Joe. Obama actually called me that when I was vice president. I never called you that. Wait, I thought you did. I definitely did not do that. I just called Pence Biscuit Boy. Why? I saw him eating a biscuit once and it annoyed him. You would not want to be called Biscuit Boy in the hood. A name says a lot about a person. I think if you were in the streets, they would call you Orange Bitch. I can't listen to two white boomers have this conversation. I'm moving on to the next poster immediately. Whoa, I like where this is going. Yeah, this is probably the best one. What exactly is the premise of this movie? Is it about a bra that can talk? Why is there a guy on the poster? Is it about a guy who gets turned into a bra? I wish this movie were real. I wish I could get turned into a bra. That would be a lot better than being president. Obviously, it would be better than being president. That goes without saying. Maybe I should start investing military funds into technology that would make this possible. Maybe it's about a guy who was forced to wear a bra. Well, that wouldn't be as hot. That could still be pretty hot, I'm just saying. Wait, what? I was just kidding. Obviously, I was kidding. All of the viewers know I'm kidding. It didn't sound like you were kidding. Hey, it's a free country. A man can wear a bra if he wants. No, he can. Well, okay, he can, but it would be gay. Let's just move on to the next poster. Before we move on, I would just like to add that I would enjoy being Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's bra. Thank you for that important note, Joe. You're welcome. Okay, last poster. This is cute. It's just like a real Pixar movie. That's not really what they were going for here, Joe. Then I don't get it. You don't get much, do you? I get to be president. That's more than you can say, bitch. We'll see who's laughing in 2024. I'll be shocked if you're both still alive in 2024. Okay, but what is the poster? It's a joke about pit bulls, Joe. What's wrong with pit bulls? Pit bulls don't save kids, they eat them. 
What are you talking about, man? I love pities. They're great with kids. Don't they attack people like all the time? Maybe. Sometimes. Well, yes, they do. But if your dog couldn't kill and eat a small child, then you have a pretty gay dog. You might as well just get a cat at that point. Hold on, what's wrong with cats? Of course you would say that. Don't you have a German Shepherd in the White House, Joe? You don't even have a pit bull. German Shepherds are basically pit bulls, but for white people. What the hell does that mean? You know what it means. German Shepherds are pretty cringe. Donald, you didn't even have any pets when you were in the White House. You don't know anything about dogs. I had pence. That's basically the same thing. All right, let's wrap this video up. I have to hop on Valorant. I mean, I have to go read those reports or whatever. First poster. Well, this is kind of a dark one to start on. Yeah, literally. That's not what I meant. Why isn't he wearing his hat? Why is the hat on the floor? It's a hat? It looked like a stack of pancakes to me. Can't you read the title, old timer? He's foodless, he has no food, no pancakes. I don't know, I just thought it looked like pancakes. You know, he seems pretty happy for someone with no food. He does, he seems like a smug little bastard. I don't like the eyes. They feel like they're sucking me in. What do you mean? I'm kinda getting scared here, bros. If I was foodless, I would not be smiling like that. I'll say that much. And I'll say this as well. I have hit many of my servants while hungry. That is really the only time I hit them. If I ask for food and they give me back talk and excuses, someone is getting hit. I know liberals don't want to hear that, but that's the way it is. What the hell is going on at Mar-a-Lago? A lot of beatings, to be honest. This picture is making me kind of hungry. What? Why? Because now I'm just thinking about food. If anything, you should be thinking about donating food. You should think about all the people who are starving out there while we eat here in America. I've heard enough about the starving Africans. If they want food, they can just grow it like I do in Minecraft. It's not hard. In fact, it's very easy. Sorry, but I don't believe in handouts. Next poster. Thank you. What's the joke here? How is this one offensive? If a white liberal can't find some way for something to be offensive, then there really must not be anything wrong with it. Maybe this one isn't supposed to be offensive. Maybe this one is just weird. I don't get it. Well, the spelling is all wrong, for starters. They spelled Pixar with three letters. Something tells me this AI technology isn't quite there yet. AI can do famous people's voices a lot better than it can spell, apparently. No, it cannot. Nobody could ever replicate my beautiful voice. If you hear me, you know it's real. Well, that's definitely not true. The real question here is why is the mug bigger than the pot? Who would use such a tiny pot for coffee? Or are we supposed to believe that this is simply a massive mug? Who cares? Can we just get to the next poster, please? You really want to get to the next one right now? Yes, let's move on, people. You sure about that? Yes, keep it moving, liberals. Okay, you asked for it. Wait, no, go back. You wanted the next poster? Here it is. Oh my God. This actually seems like a real movie Pixar would make these days. We have to go to the next poster. This has gone too far. Why does it look like there's an explosion right behind him? Because that's what happens when you're gay. Why isn't there an explosion right now then? What do you mean? Because you're gay. How am I gay? Explain that to me, Joe. You tan and dye your hair. That's pretty gay. Yeah, he has a point there. That is actually pretty gay. Maybe this would be a good movie for you after all, Donald. Oh no. You are both much, much gayer than me. They should cast you two to play the leads in this movie. Obama, you admitted to fantasizing about men in that letter. Viewers, go look that up. That's real. Hold on. And Joe, your wife is like 100 years old. She's obviously just a beard, which means you're probably gay too. Okay. I think we can all agree that we're all kind of gay. That's fine. Wait, what? I don't agree to that at all. Well, then here's something we can agree to. This movie would actually probably be pretty good. What would it even be about? I don't agree to that either. We live in a post Lil Nas X America now. You two need to just accept that and move on. Things are, are gonna be a lot zestier now. It's just the way it is. Two African-American black people want to kiss on the lips? That's their business. Maybe they're not really that gay. Maybe they're just experiment. Maybe they're just having fun with the guys. You know how it is. I don't know how it is, if that's how it is. Okay, this is gay. Nothing gay about that. All right, I think it's time for us to move on to the next poster. I don't think it is. I think we're only just getting started on this poster. 
No, this is not a good one for me. This is a complete lie. The liberals are attacking me once again. Nobody is attacking you. I just suggested that you might enjoy this one. You're saying I need pills to get hard? Oh no, absolutely not. I am rock hard right now as we're recording this video. No pills, nothing but my own mind. Diamond like hardness, I could cut glass with this thing. I'm not kidding. What, why? When you're as high test as I am, this is just what happens. You're hard from the last poster. Damn, that last one really got you going. No, this is another liberal lie. Well then what happened in between the last poster and this one? A lot has happened. Literally nothing has happened. Less than a minute has passed. This is incredibly sus, Donald. No, it is not. There is nothing sus about this. You're both making it weird. Pretty sure you're the one who made this weird. Listen, I have a lot of tabs open right now. I'm looking at a lot of things. Many, many things. A lot of things besides posters. Maybe that's why I'm hard. Are you saying you're watching porn right now? I didn't say that. Are you in a Discord goon sesh? right now while we're trying to make this video? I didn't say that either. Let's just move on from this. Yes, good idea. I'm not going to be able to move on. Well, we're moving on in. Oh boy. Why are they all smiling? That might somehow be the worst part of this. I think this could be a good movie. Literally, how could this be a good movie? Listen, Obama, I know about show business. I used to have a show. Maybe you heard of it. It was called The Apprentice. Here's how this movie would go. You have a black family, a nice black family like the Cosbys. No rap music or anything like that. The parents lose their jobs because of Bidenomics. Cause it's very sad. But this is what happens in real life too. They can't get a new job. Where is this going? So in order to put food on the table, they have to go work on a cotton plantation. They hate it at first, but over the course of the movie, they learn to love it. They love working outside and contributing to a great American tradition, a great American farm. By the end of the movie, they have all learned that slaves actually had it pretty good in some ways. They hug the white people who generously gave them the jobs. Roll credits. This is the worst idea for a movie I've ever heard. Trump, I would love to see you work on a plantation for one day. You would never make it. I had a job that was much harder than picking cotton for many years, many, many years. That job's called real estate. After that, I got a job that is even harder. It was called president, so that's what I have to say to that. Well, that's idiotic. Many geniuses were called idiots in their time. And a lot of idiots were called idiots in their time as well. Maybe I'll make this movie and we'll see who was right. You two will feel so dumb when this movie saves race relations in this country. It would be like the original Fast and Furious movie when Paul Walker taught white people how to be cool in the inner city. Rest in power, Paul Walker. Donald, did you just compare yourself to Paul Walker? I'm not saying that, but a lot of other people have said that. Who? Many people. Name one person. I'm bored of this one. We're moving on now. Look at all of those Obamas. What the fuck, Joe? What, what did I say? I don't like their eyes. The eyes are freaking me out. You want to talk about a movie that would heal the country? This is it right here. I fail to see how this movie would achieve that. Obama, let me tell you something about race in this country. Please do, Joe. This should be good. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, right. There are races in this country. There are two races. There are a lot more than two races. You have the white race and you have the tropical races. Tropical races? Basically, you have the descendants of Hyperborea. And then you have the descendants of Atlantis. These are the two big groups. What? A lot of people don't know this, but that's the way it is. And we don't get along in this country, man. You can't walk down the street anymore. We got tent cities. We got crime. We got people smoking crack on the F train at 3 a.m. Where are you going with this? But when people see this movie, what are they going to see? A Pixar girl having a train ran on her. Yes, yes they are, but they're going to see a lot more than that. They're going to see the race is all getting along. Martin Luther said no more indulgences in the Catholic Church. Then Martin Luther King Jr. said he had a dream. He had a dream that white kids and black kids would all play together. Okay, I can see where you're going with this now. And that's what this country is all about. I get what you're saying, Joe, but wouldn't it be weird if an animation studio known for producing kid-friendly movies suddenly put out a hardcore scene? I don't see the problem. 
Can we please just go to the next poster? Based? What do you mean, based? Based on what? It's just something the kids say, Joe. Don't worry about it. I don't get it. There is nothing based about this. Killdozer was a domestic terrorist. That may be true. However, domestic terrorists were a lot cooler back then. You can say that again. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of chuds. Guys like Killdozer were very creative. That's called American ingenuity. I mean, when are we going to get another guy like the Unabomber? Are you seriously saying you want another Ted Kaczynski? Maybe. I will say this. Ted Kaczynski and Killdozer guy were probably both very stinky. Very, very stinky. That's something that a lot of people do not want to talk about. I want to talk about it. You do? You want to talk about how stinky Ted Kaczynski was? Yeah. What are you, gay? What the hell, man? You know, this is one of the only posters that actually really captures Pixar's style well. This could easily be one of the Cars from Cars. Cars 3 is my favorite Pixar movie. What? That's insane. Cars 3? That's not even the best Cars movie. I know. This is what everyone says to me. Everyone gets very scared when I say this. I'm not scared. I'm just confused. I mean, what about Toy Story? What about The Incredibles? Those just aren't as good as Cars 3. Sorry, liberals. I don't know what else to tell you. This isn't even a liberal or conservative thing. This is just a weird thing. What about Wally? I didn't like Wally. How can you not like Wally? Let's just go to the next poster. Oh, no. Oh, I see they made a sequel. Well, they're just in time because I know that the liberals have a sequel planned for 2024. I just want to know what the hell is going on in the bottom right. That's just the kind of thing that goes on in Biden's America. There are amorphous blobs of flesh in my America? Yes, yes, there are. I'm going to the next poster. Oh, so when I want to skip over two guys kissing, we have to stay on it for like 10 minutes. But now you want to skip this very funny poster and now we're just leaving. Yeah, pretty much. Not this shit again. Somehow I don't think that a kid's movie about kids being killed would be a big hit in theaters. Oh yeah? Well, what about Revenge of the Sith? Tons of kids die in that movie when Anakin turns to the dark side. You're not seriously using the Star Wars prequels as a positive example here, are you? Yes, I am. Those movies are horrible, Donald. Those movies made a lot of money. A lot more money than you, Obama. Yeah, but they suck. They do not suck. The scene where Anakin kills the younglings like the dog in this poster was very good. It was very sad as well, but he had to do it, and that's what makes it sad. What the hell are you talking about? He didn't have to do it. Anakin had no choice but to kill the younglings. Did we even watch the same movie here? I don't know what you two are talking about. He couldn't let those dumbass little kids live. Palpatine told him to kill all of the Jedi, and I'm sorry, but that includes the kids. Those are just the rules. I didn't make them up. That's just the way it is. Okay, but Anakin didn't have to join Palpatine. That's like the whole point of the movie. Yes, he did. He did have to join. Maybe you don't remember this movie very well, Obama. Anakin had to join the dark side so that he could save Padme. Padme, of course, was played by Natalie Portman. And in the gladiator scene where they fight the weird-ass CGI animals, you can see her midriff when her shirt gets torn. That's another very good scene. You will not see scenes like that in movies nowadays. Palpatine was lying, you dumbass. He was just manipulating Anakin. How did you miss the point of this shitty movie? Palpatine wouldn't lie to Anakin. Well, then why does Padme die even after Anakin joins the dark side? See, again, you're not remembering the movie. Palpatine explains all of this. He said that Anakin killed her in his anger. He was lying, Trump. Padme dies in childbirth. Anakin didn't do anything to her. That's literally in the movie. I assumed Anakin killed her off screen. Why would that happen off screen? You're asking the wrong guy. You'll have to ask George Lucas about that. He made a lot of strange decisions making those movies. Yeah, he made a lot of retarded decisions. George Lucas invented modern film, Joe. What have you ever done? I'm the president, man. I've done way more than George Lucas. Actually, that might be kind of debatable. I grow tired of defending the Star Wars prequels from plebs like you who don't understand cinema. Go to the next poster, and it better not be something gay again. Who is this? Some kind of terrorist? Well, judging by the fact that the title is Roblox, I'm going to assume it's DJ Khalid. Khalid? That kind of sounds like a terrorist. He's a very well-known producer, Joe. Allow me to explain this meme to everyone. I think everyone already gets it. No, they do not. I will explain. You see, in the actual video, DJ Khalid is saying, life is Roblox. 
What he means is that you will encounter difficulties in life, but you have to try and overcome them. However, due to his heavy terrorist accent, it sounds as though he is saying, Roblox. Thank you for the explanation, Donald. You're welcome. Wait, I thought he was saying Roblox. Why would DJ Khalid be saying that life is Roblox? What would that even mean? I don't know. What do any DJ Khalid lyrics mean? I, I thought he just kind of said random stuff. Well, I guess that is actually kind of true. Okay, uh, we need to wrap this up. I think I'm going to go watch Cars 3 now. Either that or the Star Wars prequels. But what you really want to watch is Two Guys Kissing, right? You wish that movie was real. If you bring up Two Guys Kissing again, I'm going to storm the fucking Capitol. Okay, it's time to end the video before we're finally banned. <laughs>